In the small town of Leverett, Massachusetts, is a big home with a giant price tag. It's called Juggler Meadow. 60 acres, over 120,000 square feet of living space. But what sets this home apart from just about any other in the U.S. is the recreation, a private Disneyland in the backyard that includes a tropical water park. It all started with Michael Kittredge, the founder of Yankee Candle. Kittredge started Yankee in the 1970s and opened his first store in nearby South Deerfield. He bought this small house and started expanding. When he sold the business in 1998 for 600 million, the house became his project. As my father um, grew his, his wealth and, and sold his company, he did a, a series of different additions to the property. So this particular house that we're in had about eight different additions put on throughout the years. And it was, it was always something um, throughout the year that he said, you know, it'd be great if we had a little area where we could get together with friends or a, a bigger room to have a Christmas party in with our family and friends. And this is what was built. This is the great room. And this was one of the additions around 1997. Um, but it was, uh, it was an ever-evolving project for him. The main house is now 25,000 square feet. The soaring great room has double height ceilings and balconies. There are two wine cellars, a formal dining room, and plenty of space for entertaining since Kittredge loved parties. Even the kitchen was designed for big crowds. Are you holding like the British baking show in this? <laughs> no, but we could. It was it was always my dad's vision in here when he built this new kitchen to have cook-off parties with his friends. So everybody would have their own island and you'd prepare your own little dish and everyone would get together. He was an avid cook, an avid chef, loved, uh, loved food. And the party continues on the property with tennis courts, a golf course, waterfalls, ponds, gazebos, a giant outdoor pool with a pool house that comes complete with a kitchen and guest rooms. There are in fact four guest homes on the property, some over 4,000 square feet. Or the party can move indoors with a 50,000 square foot spa. It has a bowling alley complete with shoes in every size for guests. The billiard room has an oversized chessboard with real knights standing guard. The arcade is two stories with pinball machines, carnival games, and video games. The indoor tennis court is one of four on the property. Take the net down and it converts into a concert stage and party room. Obviously you can play tennis in here throughout the day, you can have a party at night. We had everything from you know, Hall & Oates and the Doobie Brothers and big concerts in here to um, fashion shows and also um, lots of fundraisers. So this, this space is really convertible. We can do a seated dining meal in here for 400 people. We would wheel out a big dance floor that would go right on the front and the, the big stage would be up here with a full light show and put on the show. The big splash is the water park, indoors with grottos, palm trees, a water slide, and massive heated pool. It's always 89 degrees. The ceiling and walls were painted after the Bellagio in Vegas. There are even tables for poolside dining and a full kitchen to serve the water park menu. Kittredge loved cars, especially rare Porsches and Ferraris, which he kept in two car barns that looked more like car museums. This yeah. is one. This is the main car barn. Uh, this is where we keep more of his regular drivers. And then we have another one that he called the Porsche barn. And it was exclusively for his Porsche collection. And that's directly out the back door, right across the way. A couple times we had a big dining table that we put down the middle of this. And we would oh, typically man. do it in the middle of the winter when everyone's a little, you know, having some cabin fever. And we'd get in here and have a nice dinner in here because the kitchen's not too far. We could cater it right here. Kittredge passed away in 2019. His son, who founded his own candle company called Kringle Candle, is now selling. It's really big for one person. Uh, try vacuuming 120,000 square feet now. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough thing to sell, but I want to see this property used to its full potential. And the price tag? $23 million. Johnny Hatam, the listing agent from Douglas Element, admits it's expensive for the area, but it's also one of a kind. This property is definitely more unique than most single family luxury properties. You have a village all to yourself, basically. The hope is to find a fun-loving owner like Kittredge. More likely, the buyer will be a resort or college that wants all that space and the amenities. 
the opportunities are endless because you have so much space and there's a lot of things to do that keep you always entertained here. And for 23 million, they might even throw in some candles. Robert Frank, CNBC.